video we are going to see that what is a transfer function a simple system or element it may be represented by a first order or a second order differential equation When several elements, suppose n elements are connected in sequence and each element is having first order, then the total order of the system is n. A system or a collection of components, it is represented by n order differential equation. So, if we represent a system by the differential equation, then it will be given by This is a nth order differential equation of a system where yt is the output and xt is the input. The order of the output, it is n. And the order of the inputs it is m a not a1 an b not b1 and bm these are the coefficients so this is how an nth order differential equation is written or a system having nth order is represented this is a linear time invariant differential equation now when we take Laplace transform of both sides of the equation, then we will get a naught s to the power n y s. This is the Laplace transform of y t will be y s and d to the power n by d t n. The Laplace transform of a differential function is s and the order it comes as the power. So this is the Laplace transform of the first term. Now second term, the Laplace transform will be a1 s to the power n minus 1. The power of the differential will becomes the power of the s and the Laplace transform of yt is ys. Similarly, we have taken the Laplace transform of all the terms on the left hand side and the Laplace transform of the terms on the right hand side will be v naught s to the power m xs. Xs is the Laplace transform of xt and then b1 d to the power m minus 1 it will become the power of s that is s m minus 1 x s similarly the laplace transform of all the remaining terms are find out now if we see that 
the terms on the left hand side they are having ys as common so we will take ys as common on the left hand side and the terms on the right hand side they are having xs as common so taking the common on both the sides we will get a naught s to the power n plus a1 s to the power n minus 1 similarly the bias is taken as common and we have written the right hand side term now if we take the ratio of bias and excess it will be given by bias upon excess will be equals to b naught s to the power m plus b1 s m minus 1 plus till f b m and uh, excess in the denominator we will have a naught s to the power n plus a1 s n minus 1 until a n so this is how the ratio of ys and excess is given this ratio of the laplace transform of the output and the laplace transform of the input is known as the transfer function so this transfer function it is given by gs so gs is equal to ys by excess that is the ratio of the laplace transform of the output and the laplace transform of the input but you should keep in mind one thing in the definition of transfer function there is one assumption the assumption is that you have to assume that all the initial conditions are zero so let's write the definition of transfer function A transfer function is defined as the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output and the Laplace transform of the input under the assumption that all the initial conditions are zero. So the definition of transfer function says that it is the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output to the Laplace transform of the input under the assumption that all the initial conditions are zero. So we can say that transfer function it characterizes the input output relationship of components or systems which are described by linear time invariant differential equations If we write the formula for transfer function, then it will be GS is the transfer function of the system. 
Ys is the Laplace transform of the output. Xs is the Laplace transform of the input. And we have taken the assumption that all the initial conditions, they are taken as zero. So this is the formula for the transfer function. If we represent it by block diagram, then it will be This is the input, so it is x is and it is the output, so it will be y is. Okay, so this is how we represent the transfer function of a control system.